Hello, this is Brian, and this is David from 360 Immersive. Join us here to learn more about what's next, newest and greatest with VR and AR training technology. We're going to learn a little bit more today about something that's pretty interesting, the history of 360 cameras. We're going to find out where it started, the good old days, and then we're going to move forward to now and see what is newest and greatest and next. So David, where did it all begin? So if you think about it, the VR industry has been around as far as 360 cameras for about four years, which isn't a long time. But in that time, we've come so far. And I dug this up out of the basement. This is what we used to use. And each one of these slots had a, a separate GoPro mounted on it. And then you had to take all of this data from all of these cameras and stitch it together in one experience. So it was a hugely laborious fact, but it was so cool because we could create virtual reality. We could actually create it. Everybody's dreamed about it, suddenly we could do it. But if you transform yourself to today, I brought a couple cameras in. So the Garmin has been around for, oh, about a year and a half. And it's actually still on the market. It's a great little camera when it comes to one specific feature and it does internal stabilization. So we could actually take a 360 camera and we could put it on a helmet. Mm -hmm. Or we could put it in situations that we would never put in before. Maybe on, for instance, on a, uh, doing motorcycle training, transportation training. Because it internally stabilizes. It'll stabilize that footage to level out the horizon to keep people from getting sick. And that's hugely important when it comes to VR training because we want to have, have people uh, have a good experience. These cameras, um, I think they're now about $700. So they were a little over $800 when they first came out. But this camera, does everything the Garmin does, six degrees of internal gyroscopic stabilization, does a great job when it comes to the visuals, and it's half the money. So you're talking a sub $390 buy, and the fact that organizations can now purchase one and they can start doing their own training. And that's, if what we'd like to say is that if you can use a smartphone, you can use your iPhone or your Android in your pocket and you can shoot a video. Guess what? You can shoot VR training. And if you can do that, you can contribute to your organization. So we've gone a long way in four years. Undoubtedly, a year from now, we're going to have, continue, we're gonna certify new cameras. We're gonna have continuing conversations about the technology, what's new, what's unusual, what's coming out, what, the price will probably continue to drop. But if you want to get into shooting VR training today, it's $400 and it will be a great experience for you. Well, thank you for bringing one of the very first artifacts in the not opened yet VR museum. Yes. Um, that's really interesting to see how quickly things change in just such a very short period of time. And that's why you need to stay with us so that you continue to learn what's coming out, what's newest and what's greatest, and also have a little bit more understanding about where everything began. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments and subscribe. Thank you so much.